The 511 Halcyon Tactical Boots, let's check them out. Your feet are important. You need to protect them, uh, whether you're just walking around or you're in a stressful situation or rugged environment. Um, and if you're on the trail hiking, hunting, or you're in a tactical situation, having a good pair of boots is important, not only to protect your feet, but also to give your ankle support and give you a good traction in different scenarios. Uh, that's one of the things that's a, a chore is really looking for a good pair of boots that are solid. These are the 511 Halcyons, and I've been looking at a lot of different 511 boots. I've never had a pair, and I've really wanted to try them out uh, because their gear is such top-notch gear. I mean, made really specifically for uh, tactical situations, uh, defensive courses and classes. Uh, you know, when I'm shooting and out, you know, in the woods, having a good pair of boots is important. But we're going to take these boots out and test them, try them, wear them for a while, and just see what they're made of and check out all the features and let's just see if they are what they claim to be. Now I wanted to go through a lot of the details of the boots before I ever put them on my feet. Looking at a lot of the details and a lot of the features and things that you know a lot of times typically we overlook uh, when we're buying a pair of shoes. And so I've done quite a bit of research to find out what these are made of, what are the advantages of this boot. And, and then what we're going to do is, is I'm going to take these and I'm going to wear them. I'm going to wear them hard for a while and then we'll do the review. So this video, this part of the video is made way before the review actually commences or gets started. One of the things that 511 said was designing the Halcyon boots, uh, they wanted it to be the toughest, most comfortable boot yet. And so that's their base. Now 511 carries a ton of different style boots uh, and shoes. So, you know, you can go to the 511 website, check it out, but there's a whole different array of not only boot colors, but boot sizes, height, styles, and for different purposes, because there's a lot of different things that people do. This is a, has a multi-terrain sole, and you can see it's got very aggressive, it's got the crosses, then it's got these um, kind of check, these uh, triangular patterns all over it. The toe of the boot is protected with the rubber coming up. And then of course at the back, same thing. There's a 10 millimeter heel to toe drop and that just fits naturally with your foot. Uh, it does come up with the rubber uh, outsole up high and so that gives you a little protection. The top area is actually made all man-made materials. Now you can get leather material, but it actually has a suede appearance. In fact, it feels like suede and I really had to look at it pretty good, but it says it's a micro suede, which is a clarino is what they call it. And what this does, it is designed to actually uh, mimic animal leather. I mean, the cell structure is animal leather, so it gives that feel, uh, it gives the stretch, the durability, and the recovery of standard um, animal leather, but it outperforms it. It does have side mesh panels, and this is to increase breathability up here on the sides. Now, on the inside, it's only on the top here. Uh, so I'm not really sure why they didn't bring it in here. And then, of course, it has this man-made material that runs all along the, the upper. Uh, and then, of course, it's got a lot of cool designs. Uh, and then this mesh, you know, it's just kind of a cool... <laughs> I, I know, it's just cool looking. I mean, that's, <laughs> that's really the reason why I like these. I love this little <laughs> mesh pocket. Uh, but definitely, it has to be able to perform as well. Uh, the collar is padded, and so it's going to give you some uh, strength behind it. It's going to give you comfort. The tongue is also padded as well. 
right back here there's a pull to be able to get this up onto your foot uh, they do make this in a black version and the black version actually has a side zipper so you can take it on and off quickly uh, this just has the standard lace up uh, now when I say standard this is actually the tack lock lacing uh, and what that does it secures itself when you tie it it's not prone to come loose this is supposed to be and we're going to find out as we do the testing uh, how good this retains the the knot now up through the tongue you have some webbing that's all the way up and it's stitched up to the top now we're going to pull out the insole insert and uh, this is one of the ortholite and it's actually brand named Ortholite. One of the things about Ortholite is that these are used in most of your athletic shoes or sports shoes. Um, it has a polyurethane formula in it from and recycled rubber. Um, it's long-term cushioning. In fact, it'll only lose 5% of its structure over an extended period of time. It's an open cell foam, which is a 95 to 100% breathability. And it's also moisture management, which it'll keep it from your foot. It just soaks down through and gets, you know, any kind of moisture off your foot. It also has a salt base antimicrobial, and that fights fungus, bacteria, and odors. And it is machine washable. It's super lightweight. And as you can see, you can pull these right out. Uh, but that's a really cool feature for this boot. Now the midsole, which is in between, of course, the outer sole and the ortholite insole, is the Samiva. And this is a compressed molded ethanol vinyl acetate. And that's what Samiva stands for. It's an acronym for those words. Uh, now what that does, it actually is a high performance cushioning. Uh, it has a lower heel drop and it's very stable. It gives you a stable ride. Now, one of the things about a boot like this is a lot of times, because of the man-made materials, they can really pick up odor. They can really stink. Um, I can wear leather boots all day long, and my feet are fine. I can put on sometimes different, like Keens. I have some Keen uh, hiking shoes, and anytime I wear those things, they just stink. I mean, I don't know what it is, and we're going to find out about these as well. Uh, but one of the things that uh, 511 has done is they have one of the Agion technology linings in here or coatings and this coats the entire inside of the boot it keeps it clean it extends boot life but they use a silver and copper formula for the protection and silver is known to kill bacteria and so this is going to resist microbial growth inside the boot and we'll find out about all that as well one of the things about this boot and you know there's all this information on there but then it's just with the descriptions of of the things that they use but you can look all of those up and really see what this boots about and i think they've really done their homework on it and so now we're going to get out and we're going to test these out to see what they're made of now a lot of times boots you get are more rounded uh, more what they call sausage laces uh, these are flat and i believe that has a lot to do with the tack locking system we're just going to see how they hold up but uh, I'm really curious about these laces. Okay, we're gonna try the wear. I'm gonna get out of my Clarks and uh, throw these on. I've unlaced them pretty good. All right, slip on. Needed that little strap to get them going. Now we're just gonna tighten them up. These laces really tighten up, and I'm really curious if these things are going to stay tied. I like to always double knot. So far, so good. I feel like tennis shoes <laughs> with a lot of support. All right, we got them on our feet. We're going to find out how they go. So far, they're very comfortable. Now guys, I've worn these boots now for four weeks. I've uh, done quite a bit of testing, whether it was out in the woods, uh, at the range, just wearing them from my shop to my house and wearing them out and about. Uh, one of the things I'm gonna say about these boots right up front is that they are surprisingly comfortable as soon as you put them on. Uh, there was no break-in period. These shoes just fit like some really nice um, you know athletic shoes regular Nikes whatever these are just very comfortable to wear uh, to the fact that it actually surprised me at how comfortable they were the one thing that Halcyon means is it's a mythical bird a kingfisher and it controls the weather <laughs> of the oceans uh, can calm seas and things like that uh, I think one of the things that Halcyon to me stands for is just 
the, you feel like you're flying almost. I mean, you're walking on air. And um, they're just really super comfortable. Now, um, I have been very rugged. I have cleaned these boots because I've had them in some mud and just wiped them down. Uh, there's probably a little bit still left on here, here and there. Um, the, one of the things about the Taclite um, laces, they never came untied, ever. Uh, they just stayed put. I was really curious about that because of the, you know, just because they're shoelaces and they do come untied. I do double knot, uh, which, you know, I do with all my shoes, but they just really held up well. As far as the odor, there is no odor with these shoes. I mean, I would wear them for 12 hours and, um, you know, take them off and smell them just to make sure. And uh, there was no smell whatsoever. Uh, so, uh, you know, I was really pleased that these systems are working. Now, one of the things when I talked about all the details, um, I got into way more details than I personally would uh, if I was choosing a pair of boots. But I really wanted to give a good full review of the different things. Now, it explains some things on the website, but it doesn't go into the details. So I went and researched, found out all these different uh, properties and some of the things that they're talking about. And, um, you know, there is a lot to back up these boots. 511 has a number of different type boots. And, you know, again, a lot of different types to fit whatever, you know, mission or whatever purpose you're looking for. Uh, I wanted some boots that I could wear around all day and yet have some good tactical type boots, especially if I'm at the range or I'm doing some competitive classes or defensive classes, trying to see, um, you know, how these do. Now, as far as walking on large rocks and around creeks and they just were comfortable. I mean, jumping off of rocks, walking, my ankles had, were fully supported uh, with the way these come up and there's padding right here that gives you a lot of support. Uh, and wearing them all day, it, there's just um, very comfortable. The tread was very aggressive and um, no slipping. Uh, they're made also to be oil resistant, so uh, keeps you know from damaging anything in it. Um, and the soles, the ortholite soles are ortholite soles. I mean, they're just super comfortable. It's just like walking on cushions. The uh, close foam padding just molds to the foot, just does very well. Now, four weeks, of course, four weeks for me is a pretty hard wear. Um, uh, you know, going to the range, you know, you could see some of the video where I'm kicking my stands, which I do uh, to keep them from falling down when I'm shooting, especially with rifle. And for the four weeks that I've had, I'm putting them through really rough wear. Never had any hot spots. Uh, the, the shoes fit well. I wear a size 10. These are a size 10, and they wear like a size 10. So when you're trying to pick out your size, I think that would be also something to consider. Now these boots are not waterproof, and the water will go through the mesh, but they're quick drying. So they're going to dry fast. You won't get any water seepage up to about right here. Once you get into the air mesh, uh, it will leak in some and around the tongue. Uh, but all across here, the water wasn't getting in. Uh, one of the boots, I went really down deep. It was this one. Uh, the water did, quite a bit of water got in. Uh, but this one, very little water got in, even though I rode up to here. These are not waterproof, but they definitely protect the lower part of your soles for most of your puddles. It's just that if you get into the deep water, probably wearing some socks that will not retain the water will be good, like wool or some of the good synthetic socks. But, um, you know, there are waterproof models. These are just not that. Uh, but this also, though, gives you a lot of air and breathability, especially in hotter weather. Retail price on the 511 Halcyons is $129.95. I looked at a number of different sources to see if I could find these boots cheaper. Uh, you know, because a lot of times, you know, manufacturers will sell them higher and you can find them at different places. But it was pretty consistently running 129 with all the sources that I found, uh, except Optics Planet. I think they were 123.95. Um, but I'll tell you guys, for what you're getting, I think they're well worth the money. And that may be the reason why these boots are, are retaining their value. They're pretty new in the uh, 511 line. I know the original Blacks has the, had the zipper on the side. Uh, but I really like this coyote type color. Uh, the, uh, the styling on it, it just really looks good. Goes well with jeans or with tactical pants. Very comfortable when you're out and about. It doesn't really scream tactical because of the color. And um, it's just a really solid boot. Now as far as any kind of cons go, 
guys, I don't really know of any cons. Um, you know, if you get a good full leather boot, a lot of times they will hold up for a long, long time, for years and years. Uh, boots like this with a lot of the man-made materials, even though they're excellent and there's a lot of great properties, these will probably wear a little more than just the solid leather. But for this type boot, I think it's just excellent. Um, so check out the 511 Halcyons, and I want to thank 511. Uh, they got in touch with me <clears throat> and just asked me if I wanted to do some different reviews, and uh, one of the things that I was really looking for was a good pair of boots. So I chose these specifically uh, from the 511 line, and um, they're not paying me or anything. They're just, they just sent the boots for me to test out and check out, and um, I'll tell you what, guys, you'll be seeing these a lot more. Uh, there was a lot of times this month that I was using these boots and shooting and doing a lot of testing that I just didn't get shots of the boots. But for the past solid month, I have worn these boots every day. And uh, I'll tell you what, for the next solid month, I'll be wearing these every day. And I see continuing to wear these boots for a long time. There are cheaper boots out of the market, but guys, when you can put on a pair of boots and there is no break-in period where they fit just right, you can wear them for a solid month and you love them just as much now as you do when you put them on that speaks a lot for quality and uh, 129 may be a little more expensive than some of the other offerings that are out there but you're not going to beat it for the price and guys your feet are important be strong be of good courage god bless america long live the republic take a look at some of the 511 halcyons maybe it's just around your yard but we're gonna put these through the tent but we're gonna put these through a tent uh, and that fights function and that fights fungus this is a compressed molded ethanol vinyl acetate <laughs> now what do they call it the Samiva? and as Tony the Tiger would say they're great <laughs>